instead of 73 is Josh Parrish. Eight in the box for third and short. Play action, fade, Patton, touchdown! Well, plenty of time to snap it. Up to the sideline to get a change. Running downhill on third and goal, and Dixon lowers the shoulder for a touchdown. Ninth of the season for the true freshman. And Louisiana Tech responds. And even though Dixon is a freshman, he runs. Second and goal. Nine in the box, so they throw the fade, and Patton adjusts. Touchdown, Tech. Second of the day, don't go away. On first and goal, they look for Patton, throw the slam. Third touchdown of the day for Quentin Patton. I would say sooner. First down at the 21. Louisiana Tech trailed this game 27 to nothing. Run play on first down. Kenneth Dixon stays on his feet. There goes Dixon inside the five, into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. Flag down back at the line of scrimmage that is likely face mask. Face mask, and then look at him adjust and trying to get his chin strap out of his vision. <laughs> And in the end, he gets it in the end zone. Now, though, Kelly, you got to go. Situation where his team desperately needs a play. Flashback to the late game old miss one week ago. On first and a quarter of the field, looking to drop off the screen. Intercepted. Touchdown, Sakeel Lucas. That you'll see in the game. We're nearing 1,200 yards of total offense in this game. Quentin Patton will put us there and stay on his feet. My oh my, four touchdown for the general. 62 yarder. And they've got to go for two. Or they don't have to go for two. An extra point would make it an eight point game. They twist up front, Cameron, end zone, touchdown! Ray Holly! Well, the two-point conversion right now is obviously very interesting. But... Ball pops loose. Louisiana Tech might have it. Question is, did Louisiana Tech touch it before the mandatory 10 yards? And I think Texas A&M touched it first. So then all bets are off in Louisiana. And watch it right here. That's the line. Louisiana Tech cannot touch it before it crosses that line. But once Texas A&M touches it, it hit number 30 and white. John Tell Franklin, I believe, was the guy who touched it. Who touches it first? That's what you need to know. And I think it went all the way through to number 30. John Tell Franklin, Louisiana Tech, is free to gain possession at that time. That's a tremendous look by our fantastic crew here in Shreveport tonight. And a tremendous onside. 